This is day two. Yesterday, we couldn't continue to film. The weather conditions were not ideal, a bit gloomy, foggy, and windy. So I had to transfer this to day number two. And the weather changes immediately in Los Angeles. As you can see, it's quite sunny, warm, and beautiful. Today, I'm at the Venice Beach. And obviously, when you're visiting Los Angeles, it's impossible to skip on Venice Beach. It's one of the most iconic beaches in the world because it's been featured in video games, films, music videos, and etc. Little background about Venice. It was founded by Abbot Kini. There's a street named after him here. He was a re famous real estate developer. He bought all this land around here. And then he wanted to recreate Venice, Italy. Built canals, several miles worth of it. And then he also, uh, the design, the architecture around this place has some Italian Renaissance uh, and this is the skate park. Today, my mode of transportation is a I grew up skateboarding since I was about 10 years old. And let's talk about cold culture. Venice Beach is the birthplace of skateboarding in 1970s. This place was called Docktown. There's a great documentary about uh, documenting this history. It's called Docktown and Z-Boys. There's a feature film slash a documentary. Check them out, quite a story. And as you can see, there's the skate park to continue this cold and remembering the roots next to the beach. Beach. After it was bought by Albert Kinney in 1905, then after about 1925, after 20 years, he couldn't maintain it. The roads, the sewage, was, the canals needed repair, so he petitioned to be part of the LA County. After their approval, the Los Angeles County somewhat had neglected the city overall. Uh, they paved the canals which is a shame actually, it would have been a really cool place up to today. And then they closed their eyes on the crime. So in 1950s, after World War II, this was one of the cheapest areas to live in. And the immigrants moved here from Europe. During the counterculture revolution of 1960s, the hippies moved here. A lot of creative people, arts, started moving into Venice Beach. And then also two violent gangs emerged from here, the Crips and also one of the Latino gangs. And this is why Venice Beach is still kind of this diverse, not the most cleanest and partially beach in all of LA County. The, the boardwalk, boardwalk we just saw, all the shops and a lot of street vendors this has begun in 1980s, 1990s. The cleanup and then gentrification happened. A lot of people from different backgrounds started moving in here, a bit more wealthier. And then these shops opened up and then this, is attract this attracted tourists and so on and so forth. Somebody's happy here. After about 15 minute ride from Venice Beach, we arrive in Santa Monica Beach, which is the most accessible 
from Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Malibu, Venice, and the closest I mean to all of those cities. So it's quite a an area full of nice lounges, restaurants, no clubs. I'm not sure there's museums or not here. I don't think so. But there's a pier with attractions, roller coasters. Imagine this, all streets filled with water and this circle as well. This was the canals that they paved in 1925. Do you remember when I said that Tabacchini tried to imitate Venice, Italy? Here's all these cones. The only canals that are left of Venice are here. Pretty neat. The series Californication was filmed here when he used to come every time to his ex-wife's house. Also his house where he lived was here. Right now we're headed to the land of the stars and celebrities, Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. This is the representation of the American dream. The Hollywood sign. The Hollywood of the celebrities and the stars. Well, it's not so impressive. Especially that it's not lit up at night, which you can't see pretty small little background about this place several decades ago about 50 years ago this was called Hollywood land and the city didn't take care of it enough so that's why it started to collapse and then uh, a lot of people were able to enter and graffiti all over it so if you can look pictures 1960 it's not really really appealing so they had a reconstruction they renovated it and they left it like this so Another interesting fact, in 2009 the property was under private holding. So they were about to sell the land and everybody was worried that it's going to be sold. And they collected like a fundraiser to collect $2 million to buy this iconic sign. So Hugh Hefner put down half a million dollars for the saving of Hollywood sign and the rest was I believe private funding and citizens and $2 million was collected and they saved it. And then over here, let's go further. Here's a beautiful view of Los Angeles skyline. And there's a lake, which is a dam, it's a reservoir lake. So here there's a skyline that's speaking out of Los Angeles. The dam is over there. It's accessible, you can go for hike. This is about You can turn the camera right. So Pavel's house is right there. You can see it. It's right Which there. Which one? The white one with the, with the white walls. Do you see some Rolls Royces over there? I see. Yeah. 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 This guy is a spoiled brat. That one. <laughs> so about 10 years ago, you were able to go up there at night and climb the fence and sit or touch the letters. However, now it's uh, secured by many more cameras and the helicopters and there's I guess a security guard next to the antenna. I did sit on the letter H once in 2011. And then nowadays there's a signal also on the letters. So when you when you touch the letter, there will be a signal for the security to come and they can arrest you. Don't do it. Two, several years ago, the Hollywood sign 
on New Year's Day, two guys covered the O with the middle. In the middle of the O's, it was like a little covering. So it was called Hollywood weed. That's when I think uh, the legislation passed for the marijuana in this, in this state. My calculations. I'm not entirely sure if this is morally correct thing to do that I'm at a cemetery a famous cemetery where some, several celebrities are buried however they have a grass field over here right on the property of the cemetery where they do concerts and some of the concerts was Lana Del Rey the XX which I wanted to go to but didn't and it's a strange feeling to go to a concert at a cemetery I don't think this is a uh, very comfortable Eve and imagine coming here like a little bit intoxicated and to see your favorite band around you a bunch of graves but it's worth the film you have these mausoleums a lot of poets a lot of celebrities a few celebrities that are buried here i can tell you is the the ramones are buried here two of the band members from this band also Anton Yelchin, the guy who was in Alpha Dog and Star Trek, a young dude that was born in uh, America but has a Soviet background. And then also Bugsy Siegel was buried here as well, which is the New York mafioso. Who, they have a film about him. Here's the Ramon. They did shot the Californication here as well. Yeah. California was filmed here. Californication. This is a very strange mausoleum. I'm not sure who this is. Also, the cemetery is famous for um, a lot of Holocaust survivors. There is a lot of Jewish um, people who are buried here. And also, there's a section for the Russians. And you can see the difference between uh, an American burial and uh, Russian or Slavic. But these mausoleums right here, I'm not sure who that is, but this is unbelievable. It looks like a Roman emperor type of mausoleum. These crosses uh, are not American, so most likely it's Jewish, Armenian, from those cultures, or Donsky. Another Armenian person, big burial site, mausoleum. I'm not a big fan of cemeteries. I do like to see how the burials work in different places of the world, Mexico, Thailand, and so on. But this is like a multicultural spot. It's well, well taken care of. I believe it's uh, over $100 a month fee to have somebody buried here so they can come and clean it up and cut the grass and be in the same space. So supposedly in the middle, the mausoleum is to the guy who was an early century tycoon who donated this land for Los Angeles and this park is, uh, belongs to him in a way. This park is in the memory of him, so I guess his family wanted him to be remembered as a major donor for Los Angeles. My philosophy on the burial, I wouldn't want to be buried in this type of a grave. There's um, two Italians who created the capsule, it's an egg, shape of an egg, and then it has some nutrients, and of course your body nutrients and your bone nutrients uh, allow for a tree to grow, and you choose the type of tree you want it to be. So when, you, when it starts to grow from the nutrients, the family members must continue to come and of course water it, and this wouldn't take up space from the city, from this dead bodies. Instead, you will create a park 
and this park will be diverse in different type of trees. Therefore, this will be a benefit for the environment as well. This is my philosophy and that's how I would like to go from here, from planet Earth. So this is the Jewish section of the cemetery. And then here you have the Buddhist cemetery, which is really unique. I think this is the reason why we visit cemeteries is to find how the people are buried. But the Buddhist religion usually the Buddhist religion, they usually burn the bodies. And you have these, look at this beautiful creatures. I forgot their name. Hi, this is Gregory. So uh, we're back in town. Right now we're in Volgograd. This is Pavel. This is the end of our Los Angeles episode. I don't know, you guys make your own opinions about whether this was a boring video or a boring spot or entertaining enough. And the last spot is LAX. We have in and out here. Everybody wants to eat burgers and watch their airplanes. Whoever's flying in is going to be maybe impressed, maybe not impressed about this place. Disappointed a bit. Because LA doesn't have much to offer, I would say, in my opinion. And then cut. This is what we came for, the last stop in Los Angeles. Check this out, something very cool. You can't see this, not too many places. Like, comment, leave your opinions. Till next episode, till the next journey. <laughs>